Yo, 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 Good morning, New Jersey. That is the new one. Put the guns down. iHeartRadio, Connecticut. What's happening? Morning, Angela Yee. Good morning, DJ Andy. Charlamagne the God. Peace to the planet. What's happening? It's the last day until we get a little vacay. It feels like Friday. It does feel like Friday. It don't feel like Friday, but it does feel like the last day until we get vacay. Feels like Friday to me. And I feel like Friday to me. Feels like Friday to me. How was everybody's night? Uh, my night was cool. What did I do yesterday? I really didn't do much. My friend just get, got married, came back into town. Mm-hmm. So I was hanging out with her. That's about it. Okay. What about you, Solomon? I didn't do nothing. I slept, went to the gym, went through a lot of emails, got back to a lot of people. The good thing about right now is that it's pretty slow for everybody. Everybody's gearing up to go away. I'm it ain't vacation. slow for me. Now, traffic was crazy. I mean, as far as meetings, people are, you know, people are pretty chill right now. Because everybody's going out of town. So nobody's like, yo, let's meet Wednesday night. Not in my world. <laughs> well, I, I did some. Um, I had to take. Aren't you going out of town? I am. So but, you're not having any meetings. But my emails are going crazy. Emails fine, but I you don't to have tape, to go anywhere. I had to tape MTV yesterday, mm-hmm. and uh, I met this rapper. What, what's his name, Angela? Yee? You met Macklemore. Macklemore. Yeah, Macklemore is the guy who uh, sold more than Machine Gun Kelly. Seventy-eight thousand units in his first week, independently. Yes. From Seattle, Washington. He's from Seattle. We mm-hmm. had a, a long conversation. He was talking about uh, him rapping. He's going to come up here this week. So we're going to get to chop it up with him. I was kind of excited. Like, he, he looks like straight up and down. I'm trying to, t- to describe him. It's, he, he looks uh, the Elvis of rap almost. Like, the yeah. Elvis of rap. Why? Because he's white? Yeah, but his hair looks like Elvis's hair. It's not like, you know what I mean? It's, I don't know. What are you talking about? But he gets busy, though. He gets busy. He's a uh, slash conscious slash gets busy rapper. So I got a chance to chop it up with him. He's going to come up here this week. And I did some shopping yesterday, so I was kind of happy about that. What did you buy? Car. Oh, yeah, I saw it on I Instagram, actually. I shopping. I bought a car. <laughs> Must be nice. Bought a car. He was shopping for the hood. Yeah, and then I went to the hood after. I ran into Joel Santana, who played me a bunch of records. Mm. Just randomly on the street? He played him? No, no, I seen him in the hood. He was actually in Queens, and there was a studio in Queens. He was like, come by the studio. He almost got me locked up, too, by the way. I go to the studio, I listen to some records, and they, you know, this, it was some smell of some marijuana in the studio. As soon as I leave the studio... There's a police check right outside down the block. Well, Sounds know, like you called the police. Yeah, they know one of their own was there. No, you know, you, you probably sent a little bug out. Listen, Joel Santana is over here with a lot of marijuana. So uh, I, I did. As soon what as it, you leave, the police show up. I did what anybody else would do. I pulled over. I went in the bodega and I sat in the bodega for about 20 minutes and aired myself. <laughs> yeah, out. yeah. No, the, the watch. You sat in the bodega to watch the bus go down. <laughs> That's messed up. Yeah, got another one. <laughs> Thank you, Officer Envy. Well, we got a lot going on this morning. Uh, T.J. Holmes is going to be joining us for a little bit, huh? T.J. Holmes. He had the uh, the BET late night show, right? Yeah, former CNN anchor. Now he has a show on BET called Don't Sleep. Okay. Uh, it used to be on Monday through Thursday. Now it's only on one day a week. Cause BET never knows what they're doing. And we might have another special guest. So shout out to all the barbs out there. We might have a, another special guest stopping through. Uh-oh. So keep it locked. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 105.1. Let's go. Yeah. Power 105.1, the Breakfast Club. Oh. Excuse me, that's Envy's job. I thought he was here. I thought he was at the room. My fault. <laughs> this guy. And he's a yell set it up. He was talking just to you about something else. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> it's 612. It's Power 105. One is the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Good morning. No. Oh, man. You guys are crazy. Now we got front page news coming up. What are we talking about in front page news? The oh penetration my. posse strikes again. Gosh, we are going to be talking about <laughs> Elmo. Elmo. There's what? another accuser who has come forward. The penetration posse don't play. And oh he's from goodness. Harlem. It's never just one butt. Oh, my goodness. Always yeah. remember that. It's never butt just is like Lay's potato chips. You can't just eat one. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Front page news is up next. We'll tell you all about Elmo. Also, TJ Holmes will be joining us. And maybe we might have a special guest. So all you bobs out there, keep it locked. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 105.1. Let's take a quick look at Dunkin' Donuts traffic report. George Washington Bridge inbound is five minutes from 8095 Express. Lincoln Tunnel already 20 minutes in. Holland Tunnel inbounds okay. And Tapestry Bridge minor delays. It's Power 1051. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Let's get right in the front page news. Let's start off with sports. The last night the Knicks beat the Hornets 102 to 80. Knicks look amazing. Mm-hmm. Last time the Knicks started off the season 8 and 1, they won a championship both times. Okay. Lakers beat the Nets 95-90. Now, Elmo is out of here. That's what they're saying, yeah? Well, he has resigned the man who plays Elmo. And that's Kevin Clash. The reason why is because a second person has come forward with some allegations that he had sex with underage boys. Now, the second man is from Harlem. And his name is Cecil Singleton. He's 24 years old right now. He said he met him on one of those websites where you try to hook up with uh, other gay men. 
And he said the first time they went out, he just told him he was 18 years old, but he was really 15. Oh, damn. That's right. And he said uh, at the time, Kevin Class was a 36-year-old school official. So he said after conversing, they arranged for him to take a cab. He met him at a restaurant not far from his apartment. He said Kevin Clash told him that he was beautiful. And he said while they were eating, he confessed that he wasn't 18, but that he would be turning 16 in the near future. He told him at that point that he wasn't 36 either. They met several more times over the next two weeks. They had no intercourse, though. They did some groping, some masturbation, I guess mutual masturbation, a lot of intense kissing, touching, and dry humping. Years later, now Cecil Singleton regrets it. And part of the reason is he said he thought he was the only one. He said, I put Kevin on a pedestal. If I had known that this was a recurrent thing or that I wasn't special and that wasn't a unique circumstance, I would have said something much sooner. This is Jerry Sandusky. I love you. Now, let the record show. I told y'all he was going to step down. I either get fired. All that Sesame Street, we're going to stand by him with BS. They wasn't going to let Elmo work on, this, on Sesame Street knowing that he's a part of the penetration posse. And Kevin, <laughs> Kevin also needs to realize that you work on Sesame Street. Dude, your groupies probably aren't going to be of age. Sorry. Now, <laughs> do y'all look at Elmo the same, though? No! How you look at Elmo now? Uh, like he's a gay puppet. <laughs> no matter who plays Elmo, no matter who does the voice of Elmo, Elmo is forever known as the gay puppet. Make one point, Damn. though. All of the Sesame Street characters are gay. Are asexual. They no, have no, no sex. No, 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 no. They're not male or female. Bert, like I told y'all, Bert and Ernie take baths together. Snuffleupagus gets penetrated Big Bird with his long nose. Elmo is gay. But what about Elmo? How do you look at Elmo now, Yee? Do you look at him the same? Uh, he's just a puppet. Now, I mean, when you tickle him, do you? It's you still not think his of, fault. He's a victim of circumstance. Listen, and even on the doll, if you actually have the doll, the doll only laughs and giggles when you tickle where his penis should be. Like, and when you why, I'm not why, why did you, you do that? I'm not messing with you. Stop. Why were you, you doing that? If you try to tickle his shoulders or something, he don't laugh. Tickle his chest, he don't laugh. You have his stomach, he giggles a little. But when you t get t touch where his penis should be, he laughs uncontrollably. <laughs> I'm not going there. I'm telling it you. Sounds like we need to tickle me, Charlemagne. Bring an Elmo in here right now. Nope. Prove it. You, you, got, it, right? you got an Elmo doll at home. And don't forget that Black Friday oh is coming goodness. up, by the way. It's a lot of people's Awkward. favorite time of the year. People look forward to Thanksgiving because of Black Friday. Mm -mm -mm. So there's a lot of deals going on. Amazon actually already has a Friday deal week going on. Like HDTVs, laptops, watches, cameras. Toys R Us is opening most of its locations at 8 p.m. on Thanksgiving evening. Macy's is going to open tomorrow at midnight, so there's going to be discounts on everything. Target is opening earlier than ever before on Black Friday at 9 p.m day before and Best Buy Walmart Old Navy they all have special deals okay. listen not the moonwalk back stop man but hold on this guy Cecil looks like our friend Karen Karen the stylist yeah the, he does look very feminine I thought this was a chick I'm like, oh. <laughs> so you're saying that, that you would does. smash Cecil Oh, no. Well, stop the music. Cecil don't have stop a vagina. The music. What are you I'm just to say? saying that he looks what are you like trying to say? What you, you know what? Let's not go there He thinks today. Karen's cute. That's not Karen good. is cute. So right. He's a so beautiful he thinks, Canadian woman. So he thinks that Cecil's cute. I think Cecil looks like a beautiful Canadian woman. <laughs> 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 My goodness gracious. Tell him why you're mad. If you're upset and you need to vent, 800-585-1051. If somebody pissed you off and you want to vent right now, if you're mad that uh, Elmo is a gay puppet, play. Don't you be a homo puppet. Don't be a homo puppet. <laughs> Homophobic. <laughs> it's going to be one of those mornings. Look at this, Grace. It's the Breakfast Club of Power 105.1. It was 25. Yes. The speed limit is 40, so I'm doing like 41. Like. Are you going to so fight you're it? So go you're breaking the speed limit, you idiot. Are you going to fight it? Of course I'm going to fight it. How can you fight it if the speed limit is 20 and you're doing 41? No, the speed limit is 40. New York State speed limit is 40, and I'm doing 41. Actually, it's 35. I say 40. <laughs> All, right. All right, bro. You gonna pay that ticket, though. Terrence, tell him how you mad, Terrence. I basically tried to have sex with a girl last night after the club. I tried to take off the rubber, and she said no. Whoa. Okay. Well, listen, I, 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 listen, I applaud you for trying to hit it rough. I don't applaud that. You're a man after my nah, own heart. My whole, my whole thing is you can't be a six and say no. You Why know, would you want to take the condom off with a six and potentially have a baby? That is true. Never and, and have a never have a baby. She was a good looking six, you know. Um, nah, I man, you six. can't catch no STD from a six. You're only supposed to take the condom six. off by ten for ten. It was a big, it was a big booty and an ugly face. Now, what, what if? Now, let me ask you then. What if she would have had a disease or something? The hiv. I got, I got good, I got good luck. I don't get them diseases. I got, I got good luck. luck. You don't want to catch an STD from a six. I tried to tell her it was best for her, and she really stopped the whole thing. And well, I was I'm glad that she did that, because you might have something. Word. You got to be able to go to a girl's Instagram and say, man, homie, this the girl that gave me herpes. <laughs> and he supposed <laughs> to be like, well, she is bad. Oh, she got kicked out anyway. That's disgusting, man. You a nasty nah. dirt diggler. 
Hey, listen, man. You got to get in where you sit in. Oh, my goodness. Have a good morning. This is disgusting. Tell them why you're mad. If you're upset and you need to vent, 800-585-1051. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. Hey, yo, this is a mad rapper. Good morning, yo, for real. I'm going to tell you why I'm mad. I'm going to tell you why I'm mad, for real, man. Hey, yo, my girl keep coming home smelling like Polo Cologne. So, like, like, that ain't for girls. Like, I know something's going on, for real. Like, 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 like I'm, I'm heated about that. And now I need y'all to tell me why y'all mad. Why you mad? On the Breakfast Club, Power 1051. Angel, tell them why you mad. I'm mad because I'm off for the next week for the holiday, but my body is still waking me up like I got somewhere to go. Like, why can't I sleep in? I'm so irritated. I know that you're not mad that you have off for the next week, though. Oh, no, no, no. That's you better be happy. Good. That's all good. Well, no, that's work, good. No work till next Tuesday, but I don't want to be up like I want to sleep in. Nah, like, you got to listen to the Breakfast Club every morning. Because as soon as I got up, I turned the Breakfast Club on, listening to y'all crazy. Then that's that's a good thing. Yeah, why don't you go to the gym or something? No, Charlemagne, it's a holiday. We're going to eat good this week. Be quiet with that gym stuff. All right, whatever. I just want you to, I want you to, be, to, be, to be able to fit in your shirt and in pants. That's all. I'm going to fit in all my stuff. I'm good. We're going to eat turkey. We're going to be fat and happy and be off all week. How's there you that? go. All right, Mama. Juanita, tell her why you're mad. I'm mad because I spent 12 years of my life with a man, was engaged to him. He decides to up and leave over an argument that could have been fixed. Weeks later, find out that he's with some other female. Oh, wow. Wouldn't be mad about that other female being there, but if you're going to replace me, at least make sure she looks 10 times better than me. Oh, well, time out. You need to ask somebody else if she looks better than you. Of course, you're going to be biased. No, 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 no honey. Maybe she's better in bed than you. That would be valid if he didn't sit there and say I was the best he's ever had. Are you oh, white? You sound like a Nubian white queen. Are you white? Yeah, I am. I know. Did, did he leave you for a black girl or another white girl? Another white girl, which is tripping me out. Mm, wow. I'm sure. I, I, I'm pretty sure it was an Listen, upgrade. boo, let him move backwards. That's not your problem. He's on something. It's my turn to be selfish and be happy. Like, dog, you're trying to do that was before you had your kids. Well, mama, have you ever tried a black guy? Because Charlemagne is, is, is free and open. He is black, honey. Oh. You know only black guys dog you out like that. A white guy would have never did that to you. <laughs> Stick with your kind. <laughs> uh, all right, Juanita, have a great Thanksgiving, I guess. Juanita. How you white with a name like Juanita? <laughs> tell her why you're mad. 800-585-1051. Yee, we got rumors coming up. Yes, and I will tell you about some reality stars who are winning. One of them recently got engaged, and the other one recently signed a major label deal. Okay, we find out at 650. Keep it locked. It's the Breakfast Love and Power 1051. Don't you be holding back. Don't you it's Bad 1051 is the back, Breakfast Club. Yo, Good morning at 6.50. Now, don't forget, at 8 o'clock, Nicki Minaj will be in the building. That's right. Her album is in stores right now, so we're going to chop it up with Nicki Minaj. Nicki, Nicki, Nicki. All right, we need one of the interns to go to the store and get some bacon. Why well, bacon? Because we got to get Nicki breakfast. You're not going to get a, nothing else with bacon? No orange juice? No eggs? She cheese. likes bacon. Just bacon. Pop. Put it in the microwave. Okay. Extra crispy. <laughs> okay. And collard greens. Now, I don't know where to get no collard greens early this morning. Right? Okay. <laughs> but I do know where to get some bacon. Well, let's get into the rumors. Let's find out about these uh, reality star chicks. They're winning. Listen up. It's just in. All the gossip. gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club on Power 105.1. It's okay, Michelle has signed a major label deal with Warner Brothers Records. Now, she revealed that there was some mismanagement of her recording budget back when she was on Jive. And her A&R was also her boo, who's also now married to Toya, who is Lil Wayne's baby mama. Well, now she feels that she's really blessed to get a second chance. She said, I have so much to sing about and so many stories to tell. Congrats to Kate Michelle for that. Yes, and another reality show star who finally got what she wanted <clears throat> is Kourtney Kardashian. She's engaged to Scott Disick, finally. They have two children. And they've been together for five years. They got engaged in Paris just last week. Oh, the engagement don't mean nothing. That doesn't mean the race has started. Cross the finish line and get married. Well, they said Scott's actually been planning to propose to her for a while, but he just wasn't sure when the moment would be right, and he thought that romantic backdrop was the perfect place. Congrats, but, but for real, congrats to Michelle again, because that's a good way to pimp that reality show success. Yeah. Because Olivia didn't do it. Um, they, they I were, thought Olivia did sign a deal. Yeah, I thought she signed a deal. I never heard it in the rumor report, so it didn't happen. Damn it, man. <laughs> she told me she signed a deal. All right, Frank Ocean just did an interview in GQ magazine for their Men of the Year issue, and he talks about coming out. And he said he decided to go public. He said, if I'm going to say this, I'm going to be better than all you pieces of ish. What you going to say now? You can't say, oh, they're only listening to me because he said this. No, they're listening to me because I'm gifted, and this project is brilliant. And he did have some fears that his bisexuality would hurt his career. But he said, you know, people, you said you worry about people in the business you've heard talk about 
the fact that they don't like people that are you know, gay. I still have yet to hear Frank Ocean say, I am bisexual, though. Yeah, I think he just said it. Yeah, he, he, ba- it he basically did say that here. Mm. So, Ain't nothing wrong with being a little gay. Everybody's a little gay. They also asked him on whether, whether he considered himself bisexual, and he said, I respectfully say that life is dynamic and comes along with dynamic experiences, and the same sentiment that I have towards genres of music, I have towards a lot of labels and boxes. So, See, once again, yeah, you're right. he once, again these questions. once again, we have yet to hear Frank Ocean say, I am bisexual. Yeah, you're right. He, he got to start answering these questions. And you got a tongue-kissing man on stage. What? Hey, if you're going to do it, do it. <laughs> Take it there. Don't play with it. Well, Don't just put the tip in. If you're going to do it, uh, do I'm, it. Okay. Penetrate. Okay. Penetration posse. Right. He does have a cute little boyfriend, so that's nice. And that is your rumor report. I'm Angela Yee. Oh, my goodness. All right. Now, um, next hour, TJ Holmes is going to be hanging with us. Now, TJ Holmes, he used to have a show on BT, right? No, he still got a show on BT. It's called yeah, what Don't are you Sleep. talking about, MV? But, but BT is stupid, so it's... It used to be five days a week. Four now days. it's only... Oh, four days, yeah. four nights a week. Now it's only on once for yeah. an hour. Because BT oh, obviously doesn't know what the hell they're doing. All right, well, we chop it up with TJ Holmes uh, in the 7 o'clock hour. And then 8 o'clock, Nicki Minaj will be here. So definitely keep it locked. But right now, let's take a quick look at Dunkin' Donuts traffic report. George Washington Bridge inbound 20 minutes from 8095 Express. Lincoln Tunnel inbound 20 minutes. Holland Tunnel inbound 10 minutes from both approaches. And Tabasi Bridge minor delays. It's Power 105. One is the Breakfast Club. Good, 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 good morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Popping in these streets. I'm Don't watching forget. Twitter right now. Tahiri is going off on Joe Biden. Tahiri's going in. Who's Tahiri? Joe Button's ex-girlfriend. She's on the new season 11 hip hop. Oh, got you. Okay. Yeah. Sounds familiar, now. Now, uh, Tahiri, shut all that noise up unless you're going to call the Breakfast Club and tell us why you met. Stop man. All those, screw all those tweets. Call she up to the She said, radio. flattered that Joe Button keeps rapping about me, acting like I can't get over him, knowing that I keep him relevant. All right, nobody cares. Woo. I'd rather hear about Elmo. Woo. Well, anyway, tell us about Elmo. What's going oh. on with Elmo? Is it a rap for him? Now, the, it's not Elmo. It's the guy that no, is... No, what's Elmo? Created Elmo. Kevin Clash. He has he stepped create, down. He created, created Elmo? Yeah, like, he created that's him. That's his character. That is his character. So he owns it. So if he leaves, there's no more Elmo? No, there's still Elmo. He's just not going to be voicing him anymore. He's an Elmo sexual. Anyway, he was Elmo for... Tw- one more, wait, wait, one more question. So Sesame Street was created by a black, uh, by a black guy? No, oh Elmo was. One character. But who was the first Sesame Street character? I don't know, but I don't think it was Elmo. It definitely I, wasn't Elmo. Probably Big Bird. And what came first? The chicken Listen, let me tell you something. Kevin Klaas mm-hmm. worked guys. for Sesame Street for 28 years. And he created Elmo more than 20 years ago. So who created Big Bird? I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Get to the penetration, please. <laughs> so anyway, Kevin Clash has a second person who is accusing him of having sex with him when he was underage. And this man is Cecil Singleton. He is from Harlem. And he's 24 years old now. He's filed a $5 million lawsuit against him. Charlamagne said he looks cute. I he did say he, he was. Cute. He did say he was pretty. I said he looks like a Canadian girl. Now they met speak. on. They, <laughs> anyway, they met online. They met up with each other. On they met on a gay phone chat line. They both lied about their ages. Class was 52, and he was only 15, but he said he was 18. Jesus Christ, that's a big age difference. And they actually didn't have a sexual, they had a sexual relationship, but not intercourse until way later. When he was 15, they groped, masturbated, a lot of intense kissing, touching, that kind of thing, dry humping. I always feel like young boys always masturbate together, though, no? At some point? No! What is wrong with you? What are you talking about? We ain't B2K. We don't sit around in the room and jerk each other off. you've never done that in the room with one of your friends when you were younger? Hell no! You never... What's wrong with you? No, have you? I'm not a boy. You can't tell me. No. But you got to respect Kevin for not having sex with Cecil because he was 15. You know, Cecil's like, well, Kevin, I'm only 15, so Kevin said we couldn't F yet. But I did suck All his- right, all right. <laughs> watch too much belly. All right, watch too much belly. <laughs> this guy is crazy, yo. Oh, my goodness. Now, up next, TJ Holmes will be joining us. He has his own late night show on BET. We'll talk to him about that. Also, at 8 o'clock, Nicki Minaj will be in the building. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. Professionals. Power 1051 is the Breakfast Club. We have a special guest in the building. Yes, this man actually was in the Vibe magazine with me as uh, one of the people with the new juice. We didn't see you, though. We just seen him. Just shut up. TJ Holmes is here. TJ Holmes, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Yes. He Good was boy. in there. I can vouch for him. He was in there. <laughs> okay. he was in there. When I first saw the promos for Don't Sleep, I said, what would make an accomplished, educated young man like TJ Holmes <laughs> want to leave that nice suburban neighborhood Say in that right mansion to go right live way. in the projects of BT? <laughs> Why you leave the white Why? man to go mess with the black folks? That's what Why you did you say. not stick to the white man's plan for you, yeah, TJ? Okay, see? Why, why can I have my own plan? Why I got to stick to the white man's plan? Because the white man usually has a great plan. I have to. I, I got a new plan. 
saying? And now I get what you're saying, and you're mm-hmm. absolutely right. Everybody's thinking that. If you go CNN, mm-hmm. BET, brand for brand, mm-hmm. you must be out of your damn mind. Mm-hmm. Right. No, your goddamn mind. Bro. Okay. And, uh, and, <laughs> and also, C- CNN is known for its news, and BET is yes. not necessarily known for journalism. Not at all. I think that's fair to say. It, mm-hmm. that, okay, that's that's the ele- that's not even the elephant in the room. That's you, the elephant. You went to sell pizza at a hamburger spot. Saying that's what we're talking about. This was a heavy decision on my part to leave what that was, the comfort of CNN, but it meant so much to me to be able to speak to my community. Okay. Well, I'm disgusted in BET because you were on five nights a week. We were on Monday through Thursday, Monday through and Thursday. now we're down to... And it was a half an hour show. Yes. And now it's one hour, one time a week. Well, one hour is good. We didn't eat that time, but they made the decision to um, Damn it, man. to move it to uh, to one night a week. Now, we're grateful to have it, and we're still hopeful that we'll have the... that we'll be given the time and the support to grow the audience that we need because the audience is a lot of folks... But like you all, and, and that you all know who hadn't watched BET in a long time mm-hmm. because they haven't had anything for you or your friends. So what is, what is the show about? For somebody who hasn't seen the show, what is the show about? Do you have a big sleep. finger and you go, woo, 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 woo? Wow. No. I'm just asking. Oh, what are you asking? I want to know what the show is about. You know what, Envy? Okay, you know what? Envy is BET's target audience, no, but he not. might not be your target audience. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. No, but seriously, what is the show about? The, the show is our opportunity and our platform. We have a place. Mm-hmm. This is it. Black America now has a place to talk about our issues, to talk about them honestly. Those conversations you all have around the dinner table at home, mm-hmm. black family, black finance, black excellence, black love, mm-hmm. black problems. But we have a place now to have that honest conversation. That is what the show that's what I always intended the show to be from the very jump, and that is what, that's the path we're on. But do the niggas, yeah. and I use the term niggas because that's what they are, do the and niggas it, that watch BET want to be educated? Does it hurt your ears to hear Charlamagne say that word like that? Uh, or to hear I, but I'm just, I want to hear TJ Holmes. I want to hear I want to hear his response. All right, well, we'll do it when we come back. 800-585-1051. TJ Holmes is here. If you want to holler at him, it's the Breakfast Club on Power 105.1. Power 1051 is the Breakfast Club. Good morning. We have TJ Holmes in the building. 800 585 1051. He has his own talk show on BET. Now, uh, let, let me ask you a question. Now, with you wearing a suit and dressed up and you talk very proper, dude. You our talk community very ever, proper. I'm, I'm being serious. Does our community ever feel that you're talking down to them? Because I know a lot of times with our community, when they see somebody dressed up and that can speak well mm-hmm. and, and that knows their facts, they feel like, oh, he's an uppity nigga. Mm-hmm. Like you. you get, we, we think you're an uppity nigga and you got tattoos of spider webs on your elbows. You talk down to people. <laughs> so? When you're for Ferrari. I think it's bad when, when people so? dumb it down because they feel like somebody's not going to understand or relate unless you do that. Well, that's a part of our issue. I think it's an issue in the black community we see all the time, this idea of anti-intellectualism. Mm-hmm. Like, why is it a bad thing that I can properly pronounce the words? Why mm-hmm. is it a bad thing that I went to college and got a degree? Why, mm-hmm. why is that looked down on? And that's a problem in, in our culture. Why, why in the world is that the case? So, no, I don't ever talk down to anybody. I talk. Now, wherever you may be, if you want to come on up, that's our job. Right. To, when I get where I am, my job is to make sure I pull up as many brothers and sisters as I can. So, no, no, no. I, I don't get that a lot. I get what you're saying. And mm-hmm. A lot of people give me oh, this light-skinned brother with the, the, the light eyes light skin, and the suit and the doll of this. And the, yeah, so it's usually the black guys, like the one that's sitting next to you. <laughs> the dark-skinned black well, guys. Let me ask you this. How do you feel about Charlamagne and Envy so freely using the N-word around? I don't use it that much. I use it in reference to niggas. It, it, I don't it hurts use it. My, my ears every time you say it. Okay, I'm gonna have to be honest with you here. Well, I remember, am. she's half black, half Asian. This is so. an honest room. Everything's honest. Too. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. As soon as I walk out of this room, I'm probably gonna drop it 20 times. That's what I'm talking about. Right? I'll probably. I mean, I just gotta be honest. A few months back, I actually wrote an article. It was on Grill.com about giving up the N word because I thought it was a shame. Like I had a conversation. I like it was unnecessary. Mm-hmm. So. I had to bring it back. I have never said it on the air. I have never said it in certain types of company. I'll only say it to around certain folks. I, 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 again, you see me sitting here, and I haven't said it right here. Yeah. And I, and I wouldn't. But then saying it like this, does it make it okay for anyone to use the word if you're on the air, if you're publicly using it so freely? I don't know. It, 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 it's a it difference how between you? the air. How, how do you reconcile? I, I think you're right. We all know it's a vile, it's a disgusting word, and it shouldn't. I don't think it does necessarily have a place. But I'm not going to sit here and say that and then say I don't use it because that's just hypocritical. That's it, doesn't, hypocritical. it doesn't bother me when other races use it because I can't demand something from someone else that I don't demand from myself. Well, well, I do think it matters whose lips utter the words. There's some stuff I can say about my sister right now. If you said it, I'd knock you out. But I can say it. And there, and, and I know that's, that's part of the conflict as well. Like, how can we say that? But we have normalized, if you will, and kind of 
sanitize the word in such a way. These young, I mean, young kids, 13-year-old white kids, they don't know anything about civil rights. They don't know anything about struggle. All they know is they hear their favorite rapper dropping it all the time, so it must be all right. right. So when they're saying it, they're not saying it to be racist. Mm-hmm. They're just, they just rapping and saying what they're hearing. So in that... Unless they hear their parents at home using it, and then they use it to describe black people. I think mostly it's, it's from the rap songs, and I know a lot of kids listen to rap music, especially white kids, and then they think it's fine. And like Charlamagne said, how could you be mad at somebody when we do it? And all they're doing is reciting lyrics. So when's the show on now? When can we find the show now? One hour, Wednesday nights. Wednesday we night. do need the hour. Three in the morning, same night. time. Uncut used to come on. BT <laughs> what time? No. <laughs> it's at 11. Now, if you would have stayed with, with Chile, you guys could have had a... a oh, oh, you were with Chile. Yeah. Oh, you guys are you, are, are you the reason that Chili got such a long checklist? Are you are the reason that Chili got such a long checklist. You set the standard too high. You was treating it way too good, G. You set the ball way too high. Look, when you say, I assume you're talking about the South American country or you're talking about the, the spicy soup-like dish when you say chili with me in the room. I assume you must be talking about one of those two things. That's a pretty, that she was a pretty, that's, that's, that's a good knockdown. <laughs> it's that just the baby hair, though. She had the right natural there. baby hair. It's hard to deal with a chick that got natural baby hair because they just think they so much better than everybody. <laughs> so what? Seriously. What you mean so what? You say it like you got baby hair. Yeah, my wife got baby hair. None of them a baby hair. Oh, you're right. Oh, my gosh. But your wife isn't black. I'm talking about black She chick. is black. <laughs> Black chicks with natural baby heads, you can't tell them nothing. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> nothing. That's why her check... You and the baby heads is why her checklist is so long. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Breakfast Club on Power 105 with TJ Holmes. It's Power 105 when it's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Now, let's get into these rumors. Rihanna's new album. Let's talk about it. Listen up. It's just in. All the guys. The Rumor Report. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the Rumor Report. The Breakfast Club on Power 105 one. So last night, Rihanna finished her 777 tour in Manhattan at Webster Hall. And there was some controversy along the way. They were promoting her unapologetic album. And she took over 150 media people and fans on a private jet with her. Didn't go how they thought it was going to go. They thought they were going to have some access to her. They would be hanging out with her, having drinks with her. She was sitting in first class, and they felt like they were just in the back with no access at all. They said at one point, a male Aussie media person streaked naked on the plane after complaining that he was delirious and they were barely getting any food or sleep. So Damn. people were actually blogging about the experience. On the last day, Rihanna did go in the back and, and talked about it. And she said, I know you guys barely got any dirt. She said, I had to be good. I still sound like ish. She said, I had to preserve my health. Normally, I'd be back here popping bottles with y'all, but I had to preserve my voice. So she was concerned about that. I don't understand what they expected. Did they expect to be sitting in first class with Rihanna, eating all her food, drinking her liquor, smoking weed with Riri? What did they expect? They expected all that. Come on, I mean, man. I, I think they thought that they would be able to kind of hang out with her, chill with her, no. sit down, no. do some mollies. Let's be clear. Mollies. First of all, first of all, I'm Rihanna. I'm working. I'm doing seven shows in seven countries in seven days. I need rest. You probably was sleeping That's most of the time boring. on the plane. We, she wanted to, we wanted to see you in the back. Do you, something. You're getting a free trip around the world. Do Relax. A something. Pack a all damn right. lunch. Now, let's congratulate Tyler Perry. He has... Announced plans he's going to produce, direct, and star in a new film. It's called Single Moms Club. That's what oh the world needs. Goodness. More Tyler Perry movies. Yes. Well, I don't know if he's going to be a single mom in it. Let's but rejoice. Oh my Hallelujah. Gosh. More Tyler Perry movies. The oh film is going to follow four single mothers from different walks of life, and they are brought together by an incident at their children's school. So He don't get tired of playing bitches? Well, is he, is he going to be one of the single oh, mothers? stop. Ain't no wrong with being a little gay. Everybody, Everybody a little gay. gay. And let's talk about this deposition. Kobe Bryant is going to have to testify in the Shaquille O'Neal case. His former mistress, Vanessa Lopez, is actually filing a lawsuit against Shaq, and that is because she said that she suffered from emotional distress and assault. From when she told him that she thought she was pregnant and she says that he then tried to get her beat oh, up. Boy. Well, according to her, they're saying that Kobe Bryant gave Shaq <laughs> advice on uh, hush money and so on and so forth. And, you know, oh, no, Shaq gave Kobe advice when Kobe was having his whole rape trial on how to give some woman hush money. Yeah. And so now she wants Kobe Bryant to come and talk about that. That's going to be crazy. Nah, Kobe needs to leave that alone. He already got a reputation of being a snitch. He got to leave that alone. Don't touch that stand. Yeah, Kobe. leave it alone. You know? Because you don't want nobody to bring up your past about the side of me and all that. You know, yeah, we I'm sure he's that. put that behind him. Yeah, you've won a couple of rings and we forgot the fact that Literally. you banged the chick in the butt in okay. Denver, okay? <laughs> all right, that is your rumor oh report. Goodness. I'm Angela Yee. <laughs> you guys are crazy. <laughs> 
there. And don't forget, you want to live like Little Wayne for a little while. Your next chance happens at 8 o'clock. You can win $1,000 and possibly $10,000 in cash. Charlemagne. And you will have a chance to suck some, put some, some truck, truck fit. No. Charlemagne. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who are you giving your donkey to? BET as a staff channel and mother effing crew for their mishandling of my man TJ Holmes. Don't sleep. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, that happens at 8.04. Right now, let's take a quick look at Dunkin' Donuts traffic report. George Washington Bridge, 30 minutes inbound from all approaches. Lincoln Tunnel, 35 minutes in. Highland Tunnel, 10 minutes from 1 to 9. And Tabasi Bridge, minor delays. I was born a donkey. It's the donkey of the day. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Which Charlemagne the devil? Possibly. <laughs> the Breakfast Club on Power 105.1. Yes, donkey of the day for Wednesday, November 21st. Go to BET as a staff channel and mother effing crew Uh-oh. for their mishandling of T.J. Holmes' late night show, Don't Sleep. Now, if you've been watching T.J. Holmes' Don't Sleep, then you know the show was coming on Monday through Thursday at 11 p.m. But BET announced that T.J. Holmes' late night show, Don't Sleep, would be expanded from 30 minutes four times a week to a one-hour show that airs once a week. Now, I didn't go to college, but I can pick up a dictionary and read. And last time I checked, the definition of expanded is to increase the size, <laughs> volume, quantity, or scope of enlarge. Now, if you had decided to make the show an hour long five days a week, that would be expanding. But cutting the show from four shows to one is not expanding. It's actually decreasing. Now, the BS is that BET is saying the shift is a response to overwhelming viewer demand for a larger show segment. Okay, they ask for longer show segments, not for you to cut the show to one day a week. And CEO of BET, Deborah Lee, already stated that the show's rate had been dwindling and viewers don't show up for positive programming. What makes this change even more alarming is the fact that they made this change after only six weeks. Six weeks? You can't pull the plug on the show after six weeks. You have to give the show more of a fighting chance than that. Y'all did T.J. Holmes dirtier than the Lakers did Mike Brown. Mike Brown got fired after five games. T.J. Holmes got reduced to one day after only six weeks. Mm. T.J. Holmes was here on the Breakfast Club this morning, and this is what he had to say about his show being reduced to one day a week. One hour is good. We didn't eat that time. But I don't know if overall the, uh, the best job has been done of mm -hmm. letting people know that there is this show on BET. I mean, right. it's like what if you tried to put a cooking show on ESPN? Absolutely. You, you people are like, wait a minute. I, I don't come to BET for that. Why, why would I know to come to BET for that type of substantive programming? Right. That is part of our challenge. And we can, we can make this thing work, but we do. We need the time. He's absolutely right. You don't go to ESPN for a cooking show, but I have a better analogy. Mm -hmm. I don't go to my weed man for Bible scriptures. I go to my pastor for Bible scriptures. I go to my weed man for weed. If I went to my weed man and you started talking some black power, save the world, give your life to God nonsense, I'd be like, man, give me my weed and shut all that up. That is what BET presenting TJ Holmes Don't Sleep to the World is the equivalent of. The weed man trying to preach to you. Now, if my weed man decides to gradually start changing his ways, he stops selling weed, starts going to church more regularly, gets saved, and slowly makes the transition from weed man to a man of God, then I might take him serious. But you can't just all of a sudden, after years of selling me weed, start preaching. It will take time for me to believe you, and it's going to take a lot more time than six weeks. You Unless you're me? high, then it totally works. No. I applaud BET for the idea of even putting T.J. Holmes Don't Sleep on the air, but I have to give you a middle finger for the execution. Rome wasn't built in a day, and T.J. Holmes Don't Sleep can't become a hit in six weeks. We live in this age of instant gratification where people don't get instant results. They make these drastic changes, but you have to plant seeds, then fertilize and water the seeds, and give those seeds time to grow and blossom. And BET, you didn't do that with Don't Sleep. It's going to take a lot more than six weeks to get the average BET viewer adjusted to something positive on BET. And don't just assume they don't want it because All they right, haven't been show showing up daddy. the way you want them to. I'm almost finished. Can I finish my one point. Well, someone's not getting hired. If BET. you build it, BET, they will come. And the irony of TJ Holmes show being called Don't Sleep is BET is actually sleeping on the fact that th their viewers want positive programming. Give BET the biggest hee haw. <laughs> and furthermore, that was the <laughs> and, and, and furthermore, I don't, to Hill, I don't have to get hired at BET because I'm hired at MTV already. Thank <laughs> you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Me, thank me you. Me no too. doubt. Me too. I get a salary from me, me, MTV. Me too. A me nice too. six figures. My, salary. My, my, that, I'm just money, saying. My, my word is born. Now. Now, let's get Although into nothing it. lasts forever in contract. Shut up, it don't matter. You always stop being a hater. Relax. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's Bow 105 was the <laughs> Breakfast Club, and yes. she's here. Yes, the That's queen. Right. Hey. Nikki Minaj. Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. What's up? Good now, morning, Nikki. Now, have you had breakfast yet? Because I if got. If you about to pull out some some bacon, I'm. Okay. I told them to get you cut. Turkey greens. bacon. That's not even the right turkey bacon turkey. that I eat. No. I don't eat this one. I eat the real crispy one. I don't eat that brand. It's too thick, it's right? It's burnt. No, 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 that, but it's not crispy. It got to oh, be crunchy see. and crispy. That's the wrong one. You know what, Charlamagne? You're fired. You know what? It's not crispy. <laughs> You're fired. That's not the right one. That's disgusting. 
What's disgusting? Him eating that bacon like that. No, it's not crispy. I told him to get extra crispy. He didn't get but that's crispy. not the right brand. That, that one never gets crispy. I'm sorry. I'm going to put it in the microwave. Well, good Figure morning, Nikki. Alman <laughs> Stores Hello. right now. How are you? Roman reloaded the re-up. Yes. Now, you're doing a lot. And so um, they gave me a list of stuff that Nikki's done. You did a turkey drive in Queens. Yeah. You went to the hood and gave out turkeys? Yeah. At my, old, at, at my old elementary school. Which Whoa. was what? PS45. PS45. I'm sure kids were out there acting crazy. They were nice. They were waiting in the auditorium for me they, with their parents and stuff. It was nice. Gave out turkeys. Okay. Now, it sounds also, like it would be pandemonium. That's what I would think. For you to go back to your old elementary school. Well, like, it was a lot of security that, you know, made everything situated. So I, it wasn't bad. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Nikki Brown, baby. That's like Nino Brown. All right. Can you wait and swallow? Pause. Why pause? Exactly. Why you got to make everything? So why you? Why you? Why you? I'm talking about the turkey bacon. Jesus. Jeez. Now, tell us about this perfume line that you also have. Oh, well, I have a nice... Did you smell my perfume yet, Angela? Yes, I did. No, yes, I did. I promise I did. did you know, you I, stay, I stay up on it. But you didn't buy it? Not yet. Okay, because... Okay, you a hater. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you a hater because I didn't buy it yet. <laughs> you a hater because it smelled mad good. It did smell good, though. I will say that. So I went not I just did a little spray test and everything. But why did you even spray test it if you wasn't planning on buying it, if you liked it? She was too busy getting truck fit. She didn't I, buy that either. Okay. I'll tell you how she got it if you want to. <laughs> I show support, though, because I did buy the Pink Friday lipstick, and I will. You did? Now I'm going to make sure I go and buy it, but yes. And no, I actually I'm going to give you one. I'm going to give you a perfume. We might have an extra one today. But that's what I was really hoping for. I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give you one. I'm going to give you one. Well, Nicki Thank Minaj you. is here. You want to holler at her? 800-585-1051. We got a lot to talk about. We got talk about American Idol. We got to talk about you going on tour. We got to talk about your ETV three-part TV special. I heard last night that you don't have a penis or a vagina. <laughs> what? That's what she said. Oh. All right. Okay. I heard that about MV too. <laughs> Shut up. It's the Breakfast Club. And what Power music Road. are you playing? Oh, don't cut this off. This, see, this is the part I love. See, this is the, this is the part I love. Wait, Let's see how music, much juice you got, you got, son. You got. When we come back, we're going we to play some bills. We're going to play high school. We, when we come back. We're not only going to play high school, though. Okay. And only, that's what I don't like about y'all New York people. No. There you go. Y'all D-Ride stuff that only nope. got a big name on it. This is what and I love. You break records on here, so let's go. That's let's go. what I'm talking about. Like, stop. Y'all need to start trying to break records and start and start listening to Woo. people's music. <laughs> now, this is... <laughs> what, 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 I mean, that's the DJ. That's the DJ's job. That's the continuation of what I was saying to Clue last night. And Clue, I know you ain't even up yet. You lazy. Bye. Mm. All right. When we come back, we're going to get a Nicki Minaj record <laughs> on because he said so. That's why. And you I'm, ain't got the heart. I, I bet you, you ain't going to do it. I bet you I do. Do okay. What Nicki Minaj? What you want to hear when we come back, Nicki? Why? Why y'all don't have the songs queued up though? Which? What, what? We gotta play hear bills first. Okay, but I want to hear high school. I want to hear hell yeah. I want to hear I'm legit. I want to hear um, up in flames. It. That's only Queens right but there. The, you don't even know these songs. You guys do not cl clearly don't support me. Neither does Clue. But that's neither here nor there. But those are the songs that I would like mm. y'all to play. Gosh. Andy, come on, be a, be a real DJ. I don't understand why I'm coming to radio and, and y'all don't even have my songs ready to be... be wait, 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 hold on. That's the DJ. Look at Envy when you say all that. Envy actually has the clean Roman reloaded re-up album. Thank you. He Good, does then have let's it. start. Let's, we will. Let's we we got to pay bills when we come back. Let's do it. Well, it's that's the, the main club. focus. And, I, and we have those records. Yes. That's the main focus of the kid coming to the radio. Nah. When, a, when the kid come to the radio... Nah. The kid comes to hear her songs on the radio. That's right. Now, now I got Nikki back now. <laughs> See the ball in this bitch. Now. It's the Breakfast now. Club Power 1051. No, it's Power 1051. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Nikki Minaj is here. Yeah, she's been here 15 minutes. I offered her breakfast. She threw the bacon back at me, said it wasn't crispy enough. She's punk DJ Envy. She, she punked she, me too. She did that punk Angela. She just asked Paul me. Called Angela her a hater. Her. Turn, now y'all won't Why? turn her mic they on? They turn my mic off? Why y'all doing me like that? I can't help but think this is how Mariah Carey felt. Oh. <laughs> I, can't help but, I can't help but think that. I feel like Mariah Carey. Oh, my gosh. Gosh. You know what, Charlamagne? Those thoughts. Those thoughts. Don't get it started again. She was she was on time, though, here. You definitely was on time. Now, now we, I, I, I saw you on she my She was truth. early. She was early. She was early. Thank you, guys. Thank you for pointing that out, Envy. Yes. A nice, positive note about Nicki Minaj to start the morning. Thank That's you. Right. And you know, one thing that got me about the My Truth was when it came to the view, you said you didn't know it was uh, taped live. Shouldn't somebody around you know that? No, because they're horrible. Oh, uh, okay. Just wanted, I didn't want to say it, but uh, <laughs> yes. Now, I, I did very much enjoy watching your three-part series on E. Thank you. And I saw you executive produced it. So I'm mm -hmm. just curious, like, what didn't make it in? How involved were you in that process? You know what? 
It's weird because someone else asked me that yesterday. Yes, I executive produced it, and yes, I approved all the shots that went in. However, after hours and hours of footage being shot, they basically send me to approve things that they've already sort of chosen. Mm -hmm. And so I had to go back, especially with the first episode, I had to go back and say, where's all the fun things? Right. Where's all the great moments when we're laughing? And I'm talking to my team, who I love dearly, and just like the, the stuff in the trailer when we're laughing, the stuff when I'm cutting their hair, like, you know, it was kind of like... They, I, it was clear that they had an agenda and, and, and uh, you know, I guess a preconceived idea of what they were going to show. Mm -hmm. And so it made it a little difficult because I can't, I, I had to approve everything, but I'm also very busy. Right. So they, it, I kind of felt a little cornered, you know what I mean? Like it was because I have to approve this by a certain time and, you know, but shout out to E, you know, I'm glad that they, they did it, but mm -hmm. I, but I would have shown more of a, a a wider scope of what right. actually happens in my day. Like, we're not only yelling about steamers, but, you know, it is what it is. Was there ever a point where you wanted to edit out uh, you being late to everything the first episode? Because uh, it made you look like you'd be tardy for your own party. It, so what? That's real life. But you know what? 15 minutes late doesn't seem like a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you're like, oh, okay, I'm going to be 15 minutes late to the view. That doesn't seem like, oh, I'm super late. It is, late. but it's a live taping. But you also think that they tell you to get there earlier than you're supposed to be there. Like, if somebody... Right, but no one told me that it was a live taping. Damn so, it. and that, you know... It Fire is management. Manny, you got to go, everybody. Oh, stop it, stop <laughs> it, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> but I, I will say that I saw... <laughs> Dickie didn't laugh at that one. <laughs> <laughs> I saw how busy you are because I think sometimes people don't see everything that goes on behind the scenes. Right. And I'm saying to myself... She has to be exhausted because you're yeah. doing a whole lot of stuff, preparing for your tour. You had the perfume launch going on at the same time. You're shooting videos in between time and doing American Idol. And recording the album. And recording the album. Yeah. And in the studio. And that's always your first priority, yeah. you say, being in the studio. Yeah. And I'm like, she has to be just... You know, I think people don't realize everything that goes into being a superstar. They see you, they're like, oh, why is she, you know, whatever, she's late. It's like, uh, I had a lot of stuff to do before I got here. <laughs> yeah, and I'm never proud of being late, you know? Like, mm -hmm. I sh I, we showed it because it was honest. I didn't, I'm not going to put out a show and just have everything be mad, fake, and corny, like, oh, like, everything. No, this is the real deal. You want to see You want to see the day in the life of Nicki Minaj? Well, here it is. There's some people that want to be in the game, and they don't even know what it entails, and maybe they should see it. Well, Nicki Minaj is here. You want to highlight her? 800-585-1051. We still got to talk about if she has a penis or a vagina because she says she has neither <laughs> She's yesterday. She's a Barbie. Barbies don't have neither. Exactly. Like, also, we got to talk Neither about do Sesame Street characters either. They're but, all... But their sexuality is asexual. so... Asexual. No, they're not. Bird and Ernie are gay. They all right. Together. All right. Snuff for love against penetrates Big Bird. With all his, right. His trunk. Now, let's get into this music. You know, we also got to talk about uh, American Idol <laughs> a little bit. Okay. And um, we just want to make sure you don't have any weapon. You're not pulling out no guns, threatening anybody up here. Oh. You know I'm about to leave. No! I'm, I'm about no! to leave. No! You punch him in his eye, Nick. I'm no! About to leave. No, no. We're going to get on the record. You just you just know how to offend people. Don't no, you? I don't. I love Nikki. Well, why you, 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 why no, I'm not. Do it again. <laughs> Yo, Envy, play my music now. All right, right now. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. <laughs> Go high school off the album in stores right now. Now, now, Nick, I know you're a perfectionist, but I often wonder, do you like your own music? Because on 106 and Park, when, the, when uh, they was about to play Bob Yes, Boom, I do, but uh, we're promoting the re-up, so that's why I said not to play that. Because uh, you was like, uh, why do y'all like high school so much? No, I did not. I meant, no, I love high school, though. Okay. I love high school. But um, I was just saying... Because I never know, like, why the Barb spaz out for certain songs versus other songs. And mm -hmm. I was just like, I was like, is, is it because, you know, this, uh, it's about a relationship? Or or did it remind them of something else that I did co called Hood Story? I did a, a, a song similar to that, like, on this mixtape one time, and mm -hmm. it was supposed to be continued. So that's why I was asking. No, but I love, love high school. All right. Is it hard to get this album? Because a lot of people on Twitter are saying it's hard yes, to find this album. Yes, it's hard to get wow. the album. Because um, the stores... Um, basically said that the last few re-releases they had put out mm -hmm. did not do well mm -hmm. and they didn't want to take a chance mm -hmm. and um, so Target and Walmart is not selling the album oh, wow. I'm shocked at that and Target is actually my biggest retailer mm -hmm. um, has ever it's, it, they've always been my biggest retailer right. so they've so sold the most Nicki Minaj albums ever you know so thank you Target but I wish you could have sold this one and then Best Buy ha only took limited because they're like uh, we don't know we, we want to play it safe so it's very difficult and it's kind it kind of like put sets you up to fail right so but um 
at the end of the day, I'm happy that I was able to put the music out. Like, the mm -hmm. real reason for me to put out the re-up is because I wanted to have, like, a bridge between this time and the third album. Mm -hmm. And I wanted people to have music that I really stand by. Mm -hmm. And so, at the end of the day, you know, I know, and shout out to my fans that are listening. I'm really sorry. Some of them have been driving hours, mm -hmm. like, literally hours to get one CD. But um, it is what it is. And, you know, I just appreciate the support and... I'm excited about the music. You think, so, okay. you think it's more effective than just, say, putting out a mixtape? Like say, you said, say you, say you wanted a bridge between the third album. Well, um, I, may, I may also do that as well, but, but it's, it's different than a mixtape. I also, when I'm doing a mixtape, I'm, mix I'm going to be on like other beats. Right. And for me to grow as an artist, I have to show my growth as an artist choosing production writing creating my own hooks and ideas and that's another that's something that you can really show on an album because it's original music now also you're going to be an executive I, I was in queens yesterday and i heard that you signed an artist from queens i did Who, what's the artist's name his name is brings he be in queens but i think he uh, he's like he be used to be in long island too so like, i was out there yesterday i was like yo nikki picked up the artist from queens out there and they was all excited i was like i never you ain't him. never did nothing for queens Envy. nikki signed an artist from here and you ain't yeah. signed nobody no Envy has signed artists before oh my goodness here anyway go. <laughs> now also nikki so wait so does that mean you have your own label now i have i have my own label yep and i have two artists uh, Parker, he's on the, which you, I want you to play, it's that song. Hell yeah. Right. Yeah, and he's on it. He's actually a producer, writer, singer, dope, dope, dope. And Brinks, who's a rapper. And um, so so I haven't decided who we're going to partner up with yet in terms oh, nice. of like a larger parent company. Now, what happened on American Idol with Mariah Carey? We just heard the background. We heard you about the beef. You're about the fight. I have my money on you all day. But what happened on American Idol? Were you about to slap the ish out of Mariah Carey? I'm not a violent person, Envy. You from Queens? Not I don't. Enough. I don't believe in violence. I don't promote violence. I, I sell perfume. I sell. Uh, I'm about to sell clothes. Um, my clothing line will be in stores 2013. Um, That's the white man has a plan for Hold on. I was wondering when that clothing line was coming. You, nigga. Because <laughs> look, I'm gonna tell you one thing that I really get off of watching that special is the cute clothes. The cute blazers, oh, the leggings, the you. shoes. I'm like, when is Nicki Minaj coming out with her own clothing line? Yeah, we're, we actually, the contracts are all up. I just got to sign it. I, I, you guys are going to be surprised to, to when you find out who we're doing the line with, but it is, uh -oh. it's in everyone's best interest to do it that way. That old lady tried to play you, though. She was talking a lot of smack. She said that you pulled out a gun and threatened Barbara? her life. No, well, that old lady, too. I was talking about Mariah. Envy. Uh, oh, yeah, no. I never said that. Oh, my goodness. Where did that whole gun thing come out? I don't know. <laughs> All in my life. Did you say? Did you say, Mariah, let's shoot the fade? And she don't not hip to the slang because she thought <laughs> no. the fade was no. a gun, and you know. No, no. And actually, um, she said that. She was crying. She was so distraught that she you, wasn't crying. She got extra security <laughs> and all types of stuff. You ain't hear Nick Cannon this record though. What? No, no, Shut up. No, he Nick Cannon did a diss record. Don't no, he did. Yes, he did. No, he did. Shut up. No. Over what? stupid Ob. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, um, no, um, no, but she actually never even heard it. She's they. She said that someone from her entourage mm -hmm. told her that they overheard me saying that when I was leaving the building. Right. Like, you know. But again, it it's all love. It's all love. We're shooting a show. It's with the effort of contestants, and I still admire and have a lot of respect for. Mariah. And you said you would perform with her, perhaps in the future. You I was kidding, but. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have no choice but to get along. Y'all going to be working together for a few months. Who are you? What's your name? That's our, our um, board op, M-Easy. He just Who? pushes buttons. M-Easy? M-Easy, yeah. yeah. I'm mad he just busted out crap. He does that all the time. It's very unprofessional. <laughs> but y'all, you and Mariah got to work together, though, because y'all going to be together for the next few months. We got to work together, and we're professionals, and we're adults. Right. You know what I mean? We're adults. Uh, she, she didn't want another woman on the show. That's fine, but I'm there. And I'm hey. going to make the most of it. And I actually thought it would be great to work with her because she's so funny. And, and I, when we shot the video together, we had such a great time. But it didn't work out that way. So, you know what? We're moving on. But bygones be bygones. All right. So we're American wrong? Idol, though. Yeah. For them, they're probably looking at it like, this is great. We're getting all this press. I don't know if they're... See, that's what you guys think. But I don't know if they're necessarily looking at it like, oh, if this is great because... If one of us walks away because of, you know, it's not good, so... Well, the promo I saw for American Idol was all Nikki. They ain't mentioned Mariah, they ain't mentioned Keith Urban. Damn it. It was all Nikki. I saw that commercial today. I did... I, Terrence pulled it up for me. I saw it, and I was like, oh, my goodness. It was. It was... I, they did, like, one whole Nikki commercial. Yeah, you see why she's Is so it disappointing mad. to you when people that you really grew up admiring and yeah. respecting and then 
things like this happen? That was hurt. I'm not even going to lie. It hurt my feelings. Because I, I sat there and you know what I felt like? And I told him this, like, the first two shows, I was like, yo, I feel like, you know, when you go to a new school and you're being kind of picked on, like, and it's like, what did I do? What did I do? Like, that's how I kept feeling. Like, what, mm -hmm. what did I do wrong? What did I say? Right. And I couldn't, ju I just couldn't make it better. It was just like, jab, jab, jab. Mm -hmm. And even, I, I'm going to respect you, but I'm not going to let you play me, ever. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Well, Nikki's here. You want to holler at her? 800 585 Now, we're going to play Miguel first. Miguel Adorn. And then you're gonna play what? Then we play Trey songs. And then you're gonna play what? Kanye. You better stop playing with Nikki and play Hell Yeah. yeah. All right. Won't, I won't be back. You I'll play be back after the first break. You yeah. like to play so much. Hell yeah. Light skin people love to play. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And then freedom. So. All right. It's Hell yeah. Hey, get him. It's Nicki Minaj. It's the Breakfast Club and Power 1051. Power 105.1 is the Breakfast Club. That was Miss Nicki Minaj. Hell yeah. Her yes. album's in stores right now. You can pick it up at iTunes. Now, Nicki, all the new songs on the real upper rap. Don't listen to the critics and stray too far away from that pop lane. Now, that pop lane is what gets you on American Idol. It's not about just the critics, babe, but I appreciate you saying that. It's just that that's just where I'm feeling where I'm feeling right now. Like, that's where my brain is right now. Got you. I mean, Nicki Minaj is a rapper, and that's what she's always been. In yeah. The since you first came out. I'm pretty sure Barack Obama don't know too many rappers. Oh, he knows Barack Nick. Obama. He knows, he knows Jay-Z. You said you were voting for Mitt Romney That's on a, um, back in Mitt Romney on a freestyle. I said that. And people were kind of pissed off about it. But were they, what, did they believe me when I said that I was also a zombie in Miami right after? Like, I don't understand why certain things they think is reality and certain things they think is, is a crazy, is, you know. Well, we don't give people enough credit for being stupid nowadays. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> We don't give you enough credit, Sean. I'm actually not. No, no, you are. I'm quite intelligent, boom, okay? Boom, 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 when I choose to be. Boom, now, you always do these um, personal songs that are, are very much about, I think, kind of inspirational. Like a moment, moment for Life was one of them. Freedom mm. seems like the one on the re-up. That's that personal, inspirational, motivational song that really talks about the struggles that you went through mm. and what you're going through right now. Is that one of your, it feels like that's one of your favorite songs yeah. that you just did. I, I do love it very much. Like, it kind of puts everything into one little tiny song for me. Mm -hmm. It's like it describes everything I was feeling, everything that has been said to me, everything that I would like to say to the world. It kind of just puts everything on that one song. And Boy Wonder did an amazing job with that beat. I love it so much. And you did a video for it as yes. well. Yes. Did you see it? No, I haven't seen it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> did you see it, Envy? No, he didn't. Nope. I, saw the, I saw the makings of it and I saw the pictures from it, but... Don't nobody want to ask you to Bob if he saw it. We know you saw it. <laughs> <laughs> we know you saw it. <laughs> this is. I don't understand how, why, how, y how are y'all on radio? And especially if you know an artist is about to come up to your show and you know she just put out a, a video, what would make you not, not watch it? That's why, like, when I go to the UK, my fans are like, oh, you always have the best interviews out there because it's a knowledgeable interview. Like, they know what they're talking about. They've, they've done the research. Even when I do magazine interviews, it's such a turn off when people don't even know anything that they're talking to me about. Like, how are you going to ask me about a video and you haven't even seen it? The yeah. video is four minutes. You know, it's like... So, hold on, hold on, hold on. In, in, all fairness, in all fairness, we watched all of the E-series, we watched all of that, and we've seen all of your videos before that. We've heard the album, we know the songs on the album, we're familiar What's with What's your favorite it. song on the album? Um, I do like High School. I do like High School, and I like Freedom. Sorry. Because those are the only two being played on the radio. <laughs> you know what's funny, though? I actually like I'm but, Legit, but, and th I don't even, thank you, I, I'm thank not you, even Shawnee. like the biggest fan of Sierra. But, I, but I, I'm Legit is hot. Thank you. Yeah. But wait, it's not my fault. I happen to like singles on albums a no, lot. Babe, I saw the DVD last night, too, but I'm, I'm biased. I'm a barb. You know what? See, it's, I just want to get past. <laughs> he is a barb. I like, sometimes I want to get past the music. I want to get into the but personal. But you're on radio, and that's exactly when I was. Son anyway, I'm not even going to go there. I mean, y'all got to just do a better job of researching, especially when somebody is coming up to your station. Say, you know what? Let me see what I'm going to talk to Nikki about. A Angela, I'm a female on there. I'm going to ask Nikki about what she was wearing in the video. Let me watch the video. I, I love you, Ange, too, because you know me and you've always had, like, the best interviews. Well, I don't know what's happening now that you with these boys, no, but, when me, <laughs> but when you and I used to do interviews on the uh, your other show, Lip Service, you were like, you knew everything. But you know what, Nikki? I'm going to say this. Now I feel like certain things you don't want to discuss, and we but, don't want to ask you about that because some video? things that might be too personal. Right. That's like what? I, I, do, I do feel like that. Like what? But, but, but that's the whole I'm point. And you don't know. But can I say that? that? <laughs> but that's the whole point. Y'all want to either discuss something personal or not discuss anything that I'm here to talk about. No, we if can somebody's talk about here to talk about 
How do you not watch a, a video of an artist that's coming on your show? No, we could t we'll talk right, about the Thanksgiving the giveaway. We'll I talk have, about the Thanksgiving giveaway. I have the re album. But we also want to talk single. about, like, like, a lot of things that Let's we want to talk about. Let's bring the video in here so, so, so the Breakfast Club can watch <laughs> it. Like, like, uh, like Nikki's love life. Is Nikki having sex? She doesn't have a vagina. No, but, I'm sh but, I, but I just shot a video for Freedom. <laughs> and you should go and watch it. <laughs> Well, Nicki Minaj is here, 800-585-1051. That's what you should watch. That's what you and you should know what's be funny? On. We're going to watch the video I, I, when we come I, I, back. I, wanted, I had an issue with Nick because every time she does go to the UK, she'd be like, yeah, Tim Westwood gives the best interviews. I'd be like, damn, Breakfast Club interviews be more John Blaze than that. But no. now I can kind of understand. Shut up, Solomon. Just a tad bit wide. Because you you're no, not no, prepared. You're not prepared. You're not prepared, guys. 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 You're I'm going to feel like this. Now. I'm going to feel like this. We do know a lot about Nicki Minaj. We have done a lot of research on you. It's one thing that I haven't seen. Ask me anything else about Nicki Minaj, and I'll tell you, yes. I have the album. Tell Did you see the DVD I went, that comes I made sure I went when I happened to be in Macy's, and I saw the perfume, and I made sure that I smelled it. You smelled it. it. I'm, I'm yes. raising my I didn't, hand. I didn't, but... but Hey, did you see the DVD that came with the album? Yes, I did. No, you did not, uh, Angela. I, I, why I, saw, are you I watched lying? it. I'm not lying. 90 minutes. Listen, Angela, Ang, why are you lying? I'm not lying. I, I, I did watch the DVD. I love you, but you're awkward. lying. This oh my God! Line, All Angela. I'm saying is, I, I'm this gonna is like start. Listen, I'm, I'm start. I'm gonna start holding you guys responsible <laughs> and up to a certain standard. If, if everybody, if every other artist wanna come up here and be fake and act like not, I'm not doing it no more. If y'all gonna interview me, at least give me the respect That's to do I'm some research about. prior to the interview, so you could. So I'm not up here like, no, I'm not here for your entertainment. I'm here to talk about something, and you guys know what I'm here to talk about. All so Envy, all Envy wanted to do was have you fart in the chair this morning, so Amizie could smell it. <laughs> he didn't think about no damn that music. Was, no, he didn't listen to the real. Some damn Amer American Idol, but you guys are on the radio from my hometown. See, and that's the point. All right, Nicki Breakfast Minaj Club be my sons. It's the Breakfast Club, bitches. Oh, it's, a, it's, it's enough. <laughs> it's over. It's power. Well, no, you can't go yet. We still gotta play what more are you songs. Now? Are you gonna play Freedom? Maybe Angela would like to imagine what the video is gonna look like. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what I envision in my head. After we pay some bills, we're going to play Freedom. It's the Breakfast Club. Now. Pro 5 1 is the Breakfast Club. Nicki Minaj is here. We appreciate you hanging with us this morning. Oh, Indy you? and Angela be do my sons. Really? Yeah, so I love you, regardless. Mm -hmm. Man, regardless of what, you're not doing your homework? Mm -hmm. Do your Nicki homework, Nicki Minaj Andy. has her barbs on me and Envy right now. That's okay. I didn't purposely stick them on you, Angela, so don't even make it seem like that. I'm just, just stating facts and stating the truth what people can hear when they listen to the radio. You guys got to do better. Step it up. How many new songs on the re-up, Envy and Angela? Eight. Oh, okay. Let me make sure. I did my homework. How long is the DVD? 90, 90 minutes. minutes. Oh, who wrote that down for you? <laughs> who wrote that down for you? Manny wrote it down. Oh, okay, okay. 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 NB, Nikki's rolling her eyes like she rolled her eyes at that girl in the DVD from Louisiana. Ooh. You rolled your eyes crazy at this one girl. Oh, a mother no, girl. Kiss ass, yo. So what? <laughs> it's Nicki Minaj's ass. Why wouldn't you kiss it? All right. Well, we appreciate you joining us today, See how Plumson looks in the Super Bass video with the Daisy Dukes and the white You shouldn't be looking at her like Do that. Do you want me to take my pants off right now and... What? I mean, what? nobody's going to stop you from doing it. Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. Don't you? No, 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 no. Moon envy. No, no. Who wants to kiss my ass? No. I'll kiss it. No. I, I, I brought up that. Yeah, I'll kiss it. <laughs> I, would, that's, that's me. I would happily kiss it. I don't know <laughs> what. what I would you? never turn down an opportunity to kiss Nicki Minaj. The album yeah. store is right now. Literally are figured. All right. Okay, just, just letting you know. <laughs> And tell your barbs to stop, please. No. Uh, oh I'm not goodness. telling my barbs to stop until you get it together. And all then right. tomorrow, even when I'm not here, you need to finish playing all the rest of the songs. And you need to figure it out. And let the record and show. And Charlamagne and Envy should say the things that they say when Nicki Minaj isn't here. Like what? What, what do I say about Nicki when Nicki's not here? Please tell me. Uh -oh. I want to know. What do I say? They say things like, man, I could never date Nicki Minaj. I couldn't handle that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't say that. I the whole time. I, I definitely don't say that. What you talking about? What did about? I say this morning? Uh-oh. <laughs> I said, if I was dating Nicki Minaj, I'd play my position. She told me, shut the hell up. I'd shut the hell up. Oh, I, 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 did I not say that? He did say oh, that. I didn't say that? Yo. I said, okay, I, I said okay. ain't nothing wrong with that. He said some more explicit stuff, too, but we ain't got to go there. What, what? Uh, what did he say? I said, I said, look, this is exactly what, what I said. Oh, listen, I said, yo, Nick, okay, Nicki flirts with Wayne, Drake, or they flirt with her, or whatever, whatever. If I was her man, okay, let her do her thing. As long as I'm sleeping with her at night, who cares? I don't consider that flirting because I, I treat women the same way. Like I never seen you kiss no. Oh, you did kiss a woman on the mouth. I kiss girls all the time, you guys. <laughs> and I hug them and, and touch their boobs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just. I even. I hug my fans. Kiss, kiss Angelie in the mouth, then. Let me see. Uh, no, come right, on, kiss, come on, kiss. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. It's Nikki. You kiss Nikki. Yo, what's wrong with you?
Alright, we turn the cameras up. We gonna no, kiss Nikki. Angela is so scary. Oh but you know what? God. I'm telling you, y'all made Angela like this. When Angela was doing lip service, she was ratchet. East but look, I can't ask Nikki those same ratchet questions. No, Nikki has to go. You can ask me Nikki, ratchet questions. We talked about her different personalities in the bedroom. She has. Why all you these think we couldn't women. talk about that today? Because Nikki, you are different now. You are. That's not true. Y'all. You saying Nikki changed with money? different so y'all don't even treat me the same if you could come and be like hey what what did you do in bed last night the same way i mean i, I probably would make a joke out of it but it doesn't matter you are free to ask me whatever you want to ask me i love you guys you guys are family well the breakfast club on power 105 don't let charlamagne touch those boobs on the perfume on perfume charlamagne it's the breakfast oh my club gosh, on power 105 why you know i just want to say <laughs> Oh, Shep, see the bar for my Angela, y'all really need to start doing your homework. <laughs> the funny thing is, I didn't hear Charlamagne ask one question. Y'all need to he really, ask nothing. Y'all need to really start prepping better. He ain't asked nothing. Um, you know, you should have watched the DVD, the, the DVD that came with the Roman Reloaded re -up. They didn't send it. They usually they send it for free. Well, I went and bought it at oh. Best Buy. That's okay. nice. You should have went and watched the Freedom video. It's so hard to find the album anywhere, though. <sighs> That's true. And, and, next I time, looked. and next time, Nicki Minaj tells you to kiss her ass, you should kiss her ass. Yes. Okay, Envy. She, she stood up. She was almost pulled her pants down, and you said no. You actually wanted to fight me after. Why did you, why did you let her pull her pants down? You why you pants down? What did you do? Why are you? Why are you? Why are you? Why wouldn't I want Nicki Minaj to pull her pants down in the studio? Could you tell me one reason why I wouldn't want that? Because you're friends with her boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's. Okay, what were you going to say now? Stop the music. Because you're friends with her oh, boyfriend. I'm, I'm talking to myself right now. <laughs> why are you? 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 Why you, Charlamagne? Why you? <laughs> Show me why you, why you, why you? <laughs> yo, Nicki Minaj's son, me, yo. DJ I feel like I'm a, I feel like I'm a son. I feel like I'm a seven-year-old boy right now. DJ Envy be my son. <laughs> and she ain't do the drop for your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> The most important. Behind you know what? I didn't even think about behind that. The you know scenes, behind the scenes, DJ Envy <laughs> asked Nikki to do a drop for his daughter. Nikki was like, nah. And son. he made his daughter call up and rap. You ain't playing like, my Nikki music. Nice song. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Y'all gonna oh, make this bad. Please say that's on video. Y'all gonna make this bad. And he called his daughter <laughs> and said, rap a Nikki Minaj song. His daughter raps super bass. Nikki still she didn't do all the drop. Y'all gonna make this mm. bad. Nikki said, you ain't playing my But she did say it was cute. Y'all gonna make this bad. <laughs> now Envy mad all over again. But Adam comes. Now he turned the, he's turning beat red again. Y'all gonna make this bad. That's me. That's I and C's. How you go from Nicki to playing little You're a disrespectful ass nigga. Huh? You better stop playing. I'm just telling I'm just no, you better, what happened. You better stop playing. I'm just telling what happened, son. Huh? You keep that between us. I'm sorry. Try, try to stay act like y'all didn't hear none of that that just happened. Mm -hmm. You keep that between us. But the Nicki Minaj interview will be online later. You guys are mad that I didn't kiss um, Nicki on the mouth? Yo, you disrespectful, man. You disrespectful? What? You play, You the one that's playing. You being disrespectful. Call the 105 right now, 800-585-1051. You want a pair the, of tickets to hang out with T.I.? are more emotional than I am. You want to hang out with T.I. in the Breakfast Club? Call right now, 800-585-1051. You can go to our two-year anniversary party. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. It's Power 1051. It's the Breakfast Club. It's 936. Uh, shout out to Nicki Minaj. If you want to see the full interview, you can catch that about noon. I think it's going to be around noon today. Well, we'll untuck our tail between our legs later on today. You said what? Later on today? What did you say, Charlie? I said we'll untuck our tails from between our legs later oh. on today. Okay. Oh, my tail is on between my legs. All right. Well, anyway, tomorrow is a holiday, so everybody have a safe and happy holiday weekend. Yes. It feels like a Friday. Now, Charlamagne, you are going back to where you're from. I'll be in South Carolina for a couple of days. You know, I got to put uh, a couple of things in perspective because, you know, when, when such good things are happening, it's always good to return where the, the, the place you are from, around a bunch of people who still treat you like you ain't, basically. All right. Yes. Okay. A little humility. What I'm about you, Envy? I'm going to Aunt V's house. Who's Aunt V? That's my aunt. She's like, clearly. Is she sexy? Yeah. Yes, my aunt V is sexy. Okay. What? She, she Envy, that's really creepy that you just said that. That is disgusting. Why? She is. It's my aunt. She has these huge missile uh, boobies. Like there you missile go. boobies. My like God. big ones. Envy, oh, this we is so awkward. We all got awkward. this. And everybody's humped their aunt. What? I, I didn't say I humped my aunt. I just said my aunt. So, Charlamagne, you humped your aunt? No. no. You remember his aunt fondled him. No, that was not my aunt. He lost his virginity. That was, his my, that was aunt. my cousin's ex-wife. 
That's okay. Your aunt. Who used to molest me when I was eight. I just started calling it molestation now. Back then I just used to call it fun. Okay. That explains a lot. <laughs> now, the only reason I let her stop molesting me is because she got a jerry curl and I didn't like the smell of it. Mm. But from about eight to nine, she Jeez. used to it was molest fun. me. Yes. Okay. Well, I'll be in Cleveland on Friday. I'm hosting a party out there. Oh, yeah? I'll be in Virginia on Friday. Shout out to my guy, DJ Steph Floss. I'll be back here Saturday, though. We got BB Kings on Saturday. Okay. Now Thanksgiving weekend. Tonight, first I'm at the Palace, then I'm at Canal Room, and then Perfections. Tomorrow, um, at, I'm uptown at Vintage, yeah. and then, uh, you know, I do Club 28 each and every Thursday. What up, Jody? Yeah. Friday, Virginia. For, Saturday, uh, where am I Saturday? I'm at Perfections and Amnesia. And Sunday, I'm don't, all over the don't place. Don't skirt by what I just said. You got a new car to pay for, sir. Car's paid for already, brother. Oh, oh. 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 this young man. Where you go? Car's paid for. You already. know, you know, he put, he, he puts on Instagram <laughs> after. Let me tell you, let me tell you how. Uh, he is humbly stunts. Yeah, tell him. He put on stunts. Instagram yesterday. He puts up a all white Bentley, an all white Phantom, and it was another Bentley, right? Yep. Uh, well, 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 it was two different kind of Bentleys. So one was a GT, one was a Mossad. Yeah, and then he goes, he goes, could, he goes. Help me, please. <laughs> Help me decide. Oh, I mean, it's God, man. Black Friday. They have yeah, sales. He, I had to pick one up. He, he oh, really? It was on sale? I had to, had to pick one up. He, he must know. not know that Barack Obama is not extending Bush's tax cuts for the wealthiest 2% of America, sir. Mm -mm -mm. just want you to know that, well, young man. Well, Charlemagne the God. We're not in the same tax bracket, so I, I'm, I'm kind of like Romney when it comes to taxes. I pay my taxes on time, Listen, before I'm, time, I'm, I'm, way before time. I'm doing okay on this, right? Shout to Uncle Sam. I, I, I'm doing fine. I'm doing pretty okay on this. And everybody has a half day today, most people. We just got the email that the office is closing today at noon, so shout out to everyone who gets to go home early and get their vacation started. And let the record show. Black Friday is on Friday. A lot of sales going on. I'll be cyber shopping. Let the record show. I drive a 2004 Cadillac Escalade that's paid for, but it don't got no heat, son. It don't have heat? <laughs> yeah. Charlamagne. But you had, I made it sound fly just now, though. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. Why don't you get your heat fixed? <laughs> Call the 105 right now. <laughs> I'm not paying for that. Right, I'm cool. 805 Yeah, you're 105, definitely one. cool. You Keep get a pair of tickets. <laughs> To the new era pinstripe bowl big east versus big 12 on december 29th in yankee stadium if you want that down carefully good luck and don't forget pick up your tickets all weekend long i know uh friday is payday make sure you join us at the uh two-year anniversary of the breakfast club you can hang out with us and tip so it's gonna be a lot of fun we have some uh, other special uh, guests that are gonna come out so it's gonna be a lot of fun what I was singing um some ti oh, okay asap stop man you're hinting on who's coming so just stop and she, no, nobody would have caught that. If That's his sing. song. What are you talking about? Oh, I'm singing a T.I. Guy. song. What are you talking this about? This guy and people. He, like, leave it to a light-skinned person to always go too far. Waffle colored people just can't never leave well enough alone. I didn't say anything. Terry Martinez is up next, but definitely get your tickets for the T.I. show. Uh, she's up next at 10 o'clock. She has your next chance to hang out with Lil Wayne out in Miami, possibly win 10000 Charlemagne. Yes, sir. Leave us on a positive note. Just always be prepared. You know, um, <laughs> it's, it's, that's my positive note of the day. It's always just, be prepared. Always be prepared. Yeah, do your research, do yeah. your homework. That's all. You know, it's fine. Mm -hmm. that's always all. be prepared. That's all. It's always be prepared. Okay. All. all right. That's all. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 105.1. Breakfast Club, bitches!